This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hi, we're Steven and Jess, and up until 2020, our days looked like this and this before we threw a spanner in the works and uh, had this. Meet little Hunter. So after learning the ins and outs of our new adventure buddy, we spent the summer converting the van into our tiny house. And just a few weeks ago, we moved out of our home to begin a lap around Australia. In the last episode, we did the massive thousand kilometer drive to the outback of the Kimberleys in preparation for some pretty epic adventures. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> morning. And welcome back to Kununurra. This is pretty much the wild west of Australia. You need a four wheel drive to kind of get to any of the major beautiful spots. Yeah, oh my God. This it's was weird. so bumpy. Is Whoa. it? My heart's like racing like really? it's two Red Bulls. Yes. <laughs> so unfortunately, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Krupa and upgrade him for transportation that is a little bit more epic. Is that our plane? Is that our plane? Oh my goodness. So on our first of many adventures, we tagged Cooper the van out for another tiny vehicle. A little Cessna that would take us out for an incredible scenic flight to the Panulu National Park home of the Bungle Bungles. Our morning took us high above Lake Kalanara and Lake Argao, across the Osman Ranges. Some of us took in the sights, while others took in some naps. But here we saw mountains shaped like waves and rocks shaped like beehives, before landing on a red dirt runway. We just had the most epic flight over here. One hour, beautiful. We flew over the lake, flew over the bungles, which is what we're gonna go be seeing soon. But yes, this is uh, kind of what we needed to, to join on to if we wanted to get out here because it's about two and a half hours, four wheel drive, tough conditions. Cooper could make it out here. But to be honest, I'm not gonna complain. That was uh, an epic way to start our morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get you a piece, Steve. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Here you go. Fresh damper. What do you think, Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> so after a bumpy four-wheel drive ride out, we had arrived at a spot so high on our Western Australian bucket list. Okay, Ryan, welcome to the Bungle Bungles. We have wanted to come here for the longest time, and as you could see, uh, we did not drive Cooper in here. Instead, we took a plane and then a four wheel drive because it is quite tricky to get here. But once you are here, you are greeted to some of the most unique rock formations I think we have ever seen. And if you guys are interested who we used, we use a local Kununara company called Kingfisher Tours. We have a local indigenous guide and we're gonna learn everything about this beautiful place. Just telling the ancestors that this is our country and this is the Gija country and shared with Yaru. And this is the Gija welcome to the country because you're walking with the Gija guide. Right, so Burmagili, welcome Yanaga, Honolulu. Welcome Burmagili, Honolulu. Now do her too. Okay. Welcome Yanaga, Honolulu. So just before we headed in, we had a welcome to the land. So the local Gija people, we have a local guide, and she welcomed us to go and come and explore this beautiful part of Australia. So, after giving Hunter the best seat in the house, which gave us major Emperor's New Groove vibes, we begun our hike among the beehives as we learnt about the cultural and geological history of the area. This has got to be one of the most unique natural landscapes we have seen here in Australia. Wow, the hike is now starting to pick up and walking into a part called Piccaninny Gorge. And the mounds. Well, the beehives is what they look like. It's just slowly starting to just surround us. As well as the importance to the local indigenous people, a place revered by the Aboriginal custodians for at least 40,000 years. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. So as we slowly followed the maze of orange and black striped sandstone domes, we finally arrived at an incredible <laughs> gorge. I lost the words. Wow. wow. So this is Cathedral Gorge. What do you think of this place, girl? Is it pretty epic? All she does is she sees watering holes and points to them and goes, ah, she wants to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I want to jump in too, Hunter. <laughs> this is all a water creek. So in the wet season, 
you can't actually come in here. You can't come into the bungle bungles. And this completely fills up. <laughs> you liking it? You loving your little backpack? <laughs> You're the best in the house. Oh, there is even some water in here. This is one of those expectations when we were flying over to land. You wouldn't have pictured it being this big. Camera's not doing any justice. I would say pretty good spot for some lunch. They've packed us a little oh. tucker box. Oh. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. And it's so nice and cool in here because it is a hot day out there. I am with you, darling, you and I. You and I. Oh, when I'm with you, I am home. You where I be, The place where it all starts. Look at that sunset. I feel so dusty, so sticky, so sleepy, but what a day. What a day, hey? Good morning, you woke up. A big sleep. Wow. Home is where the heart is. Home is where the heart is. So this morning we have said goodbye to Krupa. As you guys see, this area of Australia is really a spot where you need a four-wheel drive. And unfortunately, Krupa is not that kind of guy. So we <laughs> <We're> <laughs> <meant to> run. <laughs> so we've hired out a four-wheel drive for the next two days. And we're going to a very special spot called El Cuestro. And we're also celebrating something very special because it has recently been Stevens and my four-year wedding anniversary. So we're using this time for a little celebration. Um, I can see why Cooper was not invited <laughs> to the anniversary trip. I've done a river crossing before. When, when do you learn these things? You just learn them on the job? You're just gonna cross this and then, yep, you've done a river crossing. Is that, is that how it works? Whew. All right. Let's do our very first river crossing. All right, here we go. Hold on, Hunter. We're going for a swim. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, this it's was weird. So bumpy. Is Whoa. it? Oh. oh, we're in the water! <laughs> Philip Press is so exciting, and other four wheel drivers are like, yeah, this is just me. Not phased at all, busy reading her book about colours. Whew! We did it! Yeah, my heart's like racing, like really? it's two Red Bulls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, second one. Now we're just gonna. Oh, this one's a long one! 
We just got here to the homestead and just from checking into here, it's got such a cool vibe. So of course you can camp here if your van is four wheel drive, but if you're not like us, rent a four wheel drive and come out here, it looks worth it so far. So we're just staying in the riverside accommodation just here. Oh wow. Oh, when you've been living in the van, you appreciate having your own bathroom. This is the main bedroom. So we've got a bedroom, extra bed slash couch. Plenty of storage. Cool how they've done it. But I think this is the best bit. How nice is the little balcony. I was showing Hunter, there's like a little creek that's running right in front of us. Yeah, look, the creek is over there, Dad. Oh. And we're staying at El Cuestro Station at one of their little bungalows. This is such a nice spot. Such a nice spot. It's like known as like a campground and they have a couple of bungalows <coughs> you can stay in, but it really is a destination. Yeah. It's like an awesome restaurant. You said there's a creek we can go dip in? Yep. All right, so this one has fallen in love with going in the pool. And we're just looking around, say, hey, is there anywhere to swim? They said, this side of the steakhouse, you can't swim, there's crocodiles in there. All right, Hunter, we do not swim at this spot. Do you know why? Because there's some friends in there that want to say hi with their mouths. But the other side, you can go for a swim. So we found a pool, but it's a freshwater pool, which I don't think you've swam in before, Bubs. <laughs> Hmm? What do you think? Wow, how beautiful is this? It's all nice and shaded. This is so nice after the drive in. Should just be able to jump straight into a freshwater stream. Oh, this is such a beautiful spot. I think Madam's first ever creek swim was a success. She loved it so much that when we got back to our room, she absolutely passed out. We had to wake her back up because Hunter, there's something very exciting happening tonight. They have put on a show. So there's live music, there's a bonfire, there's food being cooked. This place is a really cool place to stay. Hey everyone, we just wanted to say a quick thank you to our longtime friends and partners of this channel, Squarespace, for helping keeping us on the road during this epic lap around Australia. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily put together a website or blog. As you guys can see, we've been taking so many photographs, sharing them with our friends, sharing them with our family. And we just find the best way to do this is through our own personal travel blog. Now, if you're thinking of doing one yourself, they have award-winning template designs. Plus, if you get stuck, they have 24 seven customer support. So if you are interested, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get 10% off your first order of a website or blog, plus your first month free. Now let's head back to the travels. So this morning we've woken up bright and early to go and swim in a nearby hot spring. Again, another first for Hunter. We're just walking through this little path that leads to the springs. The spot's called ZBD Springs, about 15 minutes just outside. I think this might be the most popular spot. So it opens up at seven and I definitely recommend coming at seven because I think the car park is already almost full all these palm trees um doesn't feel like this fits where we are right now in the middle of australia with just <laughs> arid dry kind of terrain so it looks extra beautiful oh so warm Wow, this she is, is loving it. She thinks this is the coolest thing. We've <laughs> never taken her to a warm pool. Like even like our big public pool back home is freezing. <laughs> she loves it. All right, let's go. And it's such a cool scenery. You've got these palm trees just coming straight up and then you've got that red Aussie rock just behind us. 
Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh my gosh, what a way to start the day. That was so <laughs> nice. Hunter, you want some brekkie? This one loved it oh, way too much. We had our first um, sad girl morning. Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll give you something to eat. She did not want to leave the hot springs. She was very upset when it was time to go, but we had to tell her it's breakfast time and um, we ordered the pancakes. Look at this. <laughs> so she can have a taste. Gonna taste of the pancakes. Mm. Oh. oh, okay. Was it worth, <laughs> was it worth the... coming back for? But yeah, this place has like a whole thing. Like there's a bar, there's a place making food, they do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's also a campground. So much here. This place has been so relaxing. Little Hunter. Today, she's just been sleeping all day. So we've just let her be. But now it's about half an hour until sunset, so I think we need to wake her up because we've yet to see an epic sunset here in El Cuesto, and I've heard that they're good. We've just been chilling out here. This has honestly been my favorite spot. It's that stream. It's just, that's all I can hear. It's so relaxing. It just, makes you really feel like it's just you out here. There's no one else. Yeah, definitely, but I'm Let's, ready. We missed yesterday's sunset. We've got to go to today's, all Hunter, right? I'm sorry, we're waking you up. <laughs> Time to wake up the bobber. <laughs> Hi, Papa. Yes. Good morning, Sunny. Did you find your puppy? So we've now headed off on a very bumpy road to an epic lookout spot. It's called Hi, Pigeonhole Lookout, boy. and I cannot wait to see the views from this shiver spot. if you think too. Wrestling with the bones. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I don't think I'll ever get used to these water crossings. Oh it just feels so unnatural. <laughs> oh. We're almost there. She Run, I'm going. Keeps <laughs> you standing round. Take your pick now. Wind cry echoes to an open. why we drove a thousand kilometers to Kununara. <laughs> Look at that. That is amazing. Wow. I'm saying it. This is the most beautiful spot we have come across on this trip so far. I was just thinking it's times like this where you just appreciate so much that you get to call Australia home. Do you want dad dad? No. <laughs> right. And not only that, that we get to show little Hunter all over her country, like Look how stunning this is. I can't believe it. All right, Hunter, thoughts on four wheel driving? <laughs> <laughs> and what's your thoughts on dad's driving? <laughs> hey, hey back there. Hunter, that means food's ready. You excited? Dinner and a show? <laughs> She's so into the musician. Oh, Hunter, look what we got. Pizza. That's a food reveal of these nachos. And then after tonight, back to eating healthy. Yeah, yeah, this was um, anniversary weekend. Nachos. Pizza. What do you think? Do you want to buy the pizza? Let's see. Buy the pizza? Oh mate, you will love pizza. Give it another shot. It's pretty good, huh? Perfect way to end our time here. This has been such an amazing time here. Love it. Oh, cheers, Hunter. Cheers to the pizza. Cheers. <laughs>
Despair.